Welcome to your core day of your Healthy at Home Fitness Challenge. So this is the first of uh, our four week challenge of the core workout. So we're gonna start slow and we're gonna add on. So let's find our way down to our mat so we can lay all the way back, roll it back here. All right, we're just gonna let gravity really sink us down into the mat. So just relax, take a big deep breath, inhale, fill the belly with air, air. exhale, relax and let it all out. All right, we're gonna practice our imprint spine. So my feet are hip distance apart, just resting on the mat. And what I'm gonna have you do is flatten your back so that you feel like you're gonna hold down, let's say you have a $100 bill under your back. You wanna flatten, exhale, hold that $100 bill down. Now, I don't want you contracting your cheeks here. It's more coming from the deeper abdominal muscles. So you're gonna exhale and flatten the back. All right, so you should feel that core engagement there. Inhale, exhale, release. All right, now you've got that little opening underneath your low back. We naturally have a curve in our low back, and then we're gonna work to flatten. So a lot of exercises we work in imprint, which means we are holding onto that $100 bill under our low backs. All right, so we're gonna find our imprint a couple more times here. Exhale, and back to neutral, and then exhale and back to neutral. All right, from here, we're gonna imprint the spine. So press into the mat, take your legs to tabletop. So from here, my legs are in it. This is tabletop in Pilates, it's a 90 degree angle here. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. All right, you're gonna march with the left, keeping that imprint spine, and march with the right. Inhale, exhale it up. It doesn't look fancy, it's not a fancy ab move, but it does get deep into those core muscles. If you can really pay attention to keeping that abdominal engagement and not letting the rib cage pop open as that leg extends towards the mat. And lift, down and lift. Inhale, exhale to lift. Inhale, exhale to lift, good. Down, keeping that imprint. If this is too much for you, feel like you can't keep that imprint, you would ground one leg and march with the opposite, all right? So let's keep it going. Last two, last one, good, and relax, hug those knees in. All right, plant those feet again, find your imprint, keep that nice strong imprint, take those legs to tabletop. All right, squeeze the knees together, holding your legs together, cradle your head in your hands, we're not crunching our neck forward, we're letting our head be heavy in our hands, and we're going to lift from the upper abdominals, and lower, so it's exhale, lift. My abs shake the very first couple of reps I do here. And low, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower for three, for two, and one. Good, lower it down, bring those knees in. All right, now we're gonna add on from here. Taking those legs to tabletop, coming into a chest lift, staying in your chest lift, so using those upper abdominals, and then taking that left leg long, and switch. We're not twisting, keeping those elbows nice and open. Find a place on the ceiling or the sky to keep your gaze steady. Exhale out, pull it in for four, three, two, and one. Good, and relax. Now we're gonna add our rotation, so focusing on our obliques. So we're gonna lift it up, take the left leg out, twist to the right, center, switch. Nice and slow. And switch, exhale. Bring all that air out as you twist. Back to center, exhale, inhale. If you're feeling like you're having trouble keeping that abdominal connection, the leg that goes out can stay higher. Or you can twist here without taking the legs out at all. Good. Last two. Last one. Good, and lower it down. All right, good work. We're gonna work our way up to our bellies and come into a plank. So we're gonna go into a regular forearm plank. All right, I'll show you some variations. So 
My elbows are right underneath my shoulders. I'm not gonna clasp my hands here. I'm gonna keep them separated. I'm gonna step my feet back. So for a plank, you wanna be able to stay in a straight line. You don't want the low back to sag and you don't want the butt up in the air. So nice and neutral, nice long back. If this is too much for you, it's too much pressure on your abdominals, you come down to your knees here. All right, and just hold, same thing. Just a little bit shorter lever to hold up. So I'm gonna come back to my plank and nice deep inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale and exhale. Pulling apart that mat with those hands. Two more breaths. Last breath. And then let the knees come down. Open up, stretch it back in child's pose. We're gonna go now from our plank to our side plank. So on your forearms, if you're on your knees, you're gonna stay here, find your plank, and open to a side plank with you on your knees, all right? So you can keep your arm on your hip. You wanna stack the hips and you want the work to come from these lower obliques and that stabilizing glute, all right? So I'm gonna start in a regular plank, all right? And then rotate. My top leg, if you're out in a regular plank without your knees down, your top leg is in front of your bottom leg, all right? Or you can stack them, but I like to do this. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. Good. Hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four. You can do it three, two, one. One other side, side plank the other way. All right, remember you can be on your knees here or take the legs out straight, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back to the center and release. Good. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Sink into your mat. All right. So that was our first core workout in, these ser in this series. We will add on to that workout. So don't fear if that was you know, difficult for you, then practice um, some of those in your free time. They're easy to do you know, next to your bed. And you're just hanging out watching a show. You can work on that deep abdominal connection. Um, if those were easy for you, don't worry, we'll build on this. Um, Pilates is awesome because you can always build on what you have and you can always start from the beginning. And really, the longer you do it, the more challenging it becomes because you kick into those deep muscles. So.